Okay, so I don't know what order to put these weights in. These two appear to be heavier than that one. So I did heavy, heavy light. This pendulum is driving me nuts being crooked. I wonder if this piece is bent. Anyway, I managed to mangle the hammers. Came down with my hand and pulled them out of whack, so that's going to be fun to get lined back up. They appear to be cocked. Everything seems to be free. So let's um, let's see what happens. Oh no. Well now. Does it tick tock? Can I begin to guess what's what the trigger is for the strike. Oh good, now we can hear it. There's gotta be a trip on here somewhere. I didn't even level this, I just it's just where it landed. Sounds good. We got night off. We got strike. We got silent night off and strike. And then over here we have. I'm pretty sure that says silent Westminster, St. Michael's, and whatever the other one is. That should be set for Westminster. That should bring. That should be bringing the drum forward and backwards. If I, yeah. Okay. I don't know. There's got to be some reason that that isn't. I'm not even going to click. We can see if it keeps time. I'm going to have to look into this movement. There's probably something on the front that I can't see. Or get to. That would cause that to trip. I don't feel anything. The last one I had was a Hermley. Hermel? Hermley, whatever. However you pronounce it, but there was a lever on the front. You could flip it and make it strike. I don't know. I'm going to set it as soon as I figure out what time it is. This is something. Working on it inside this case is a painting. You know what? Oh, that moves. Doesn't do anything, but it moves. Now, once we get all the moon thing on the front, I really don't want to take the face off. Looks like it's one piece. Yeah, it's thin. 
If I take the hands off, I take the face off, does the you know, all the moon stuff comes off with it. That doesn't look like fun. Okay, well. Maybe it'll heal itself. It's always nice when that happens. If I can get a picture inside that I can look at later and say, oh yeah, there it is. Sorry for the shaky camera again. I'm back on the little tripod because the big one won't fit in here. Something's obviously up because it's this one's wonky and it wasn't before I took it apart. I think I got it bent back where it needs to be. Huh? Maybe not. I messed up two of them. Didn't take much. much at all. Yeah. We'll see if it ever goes back. Feels like that's under tension too. Hmm. I go to can't get there through the door. I go to silent, does it? It's not even on anything. I thought it was on a pin that was holding it open. It was not. That is strange. Okay, well. Now there's a pin in the way. I couldn't have bent it that way. No, this ends up. I couldn't have bent that. Now watch me screw those hammers up too. Hmm. Are they all talk tick? Every one I've got talk text. Maybe I'm just hearing it wrong. prudent thing to do is to let it run for a little while. See if it keeps time. So we are two screwdrivers, four screws, two thumb wheels, one wire, two pieces of tape, a piece of string, and a zip tie into this. I had to take the doors off. They were in the way. No name on the dial. Guess we'll see what happens. There's got to be some reason it's not striking. You can see the chain in the middle now. No, no, that's the one the other side. Well, that's all I got for you today.
It'll be interesting to see how this works and how you set it. Strike. There's Westminster. It's funny because the uh, the woman that gave it to me when I picked it up, she uh, made a point of telling me it strikes. And this is the second clock that I brought home that refuses to strike. It's like they got a grudge. Right, we're going to listen to this for a second and then uh, I'm going to end the video.